Hey there folks, Doug here, and uh, we're in the backyard again. Uh, this is version two of the uh, uh, clay mud fireplace deal. As you can tell, uh, the rain and my dog Nubs uh, destroyed this portion of it, which actually worked out for me. I built this replacement portion here. I like it better than what I had before, and it's pretty hard from firing. So I'm gonna build a chimney for it right now. So I'm gonna show how to do that part, and I'm gonna leave a little opening here. I'm considering trying to use this maybe as um, kind of a, a forge of some kind to kind of mess around. I don't know, some, you know, make, make a backyard nail knife or something fun. I don't know if it's even all that possible, but I'm just uh, playing around. So I'm gonna go through the process of actually building the chimney here with you. So stay tuned. And I'm just shooting outside, so I apologize if there's uh, neighborhood noises and such just in the backyard. But, but basically, we're just gonna take our clay and just like we're a little, a little kid or something in the creek in the backyard, make these little balls and these are what is gonna this is how I built this portion you can see some of these seams it's from having the the bald portion and smoothing it down and I may when I go back and finish this up create some kind of a, a slurry and clean it up so it's more aesthetically pleasing but I'm just kind of working on functional reform right now so we're gonna start laying these out and I have not uh, processed this clay just dug it up from a spot over here real quick I uh, have to pick the rocks out or anything like that, so we might have to do that as we go along. All right, like some of those right there. Let's get that out of there. We don't need those. I want something a bit more smooth and consistent. Another rock. All right. And this is just uh, fresh, fresh dug. I haven't even, uh, I didn't wet this or do anything special with it. Just a shovel in a bucket. But the area we're in here, in this part of the country, is actually quite well known for its red clay, obviously. Let's see, is there, is there a rock in that one? Yeah, there is. Let me get some of that, some of that gravel out. That just makes it, it has other air pockets, it makes it inconsistent. I don't think these little rocks would explode in the fire. But it just makes it um, less desirable in my mind to have it set up like that. Okay. Got some grass in there from long cutting some of the day. It's kind of like cement in that if you, you continue to work it, the moisture seems to come to the surface, and that's when it seems to, to adhere the best to itself, and you can kind of blend some of the seams in and whatnot. Now obviously, I found this kind of padding technique works for me. Uh, don't know if that is actually a technique, if I made that up, or if it's just a... Uh, some that seems to work well with this medium, but big old honker. Get that out of there. So that is coming along, and of course, you can see here we have gaps right here that we can come back in and, and fill if we need to, but we're just working on, on the form for right now.
Okay, I think you got the basic idea here. I might pop the camera off here in a minute and uh, build this back up and give you a, show you what it looks like when it's near towards finished up. But we'll just put this one guy right there. Because we're gonna leave this spot open. And what I'm gonna do is at some point in time when I'm building this up, I've got a couple little pieces of wood I'm gonna lay across that makes the opening here. I'll have kind of a, a opening there for putting in some little metal pieces. We'll see if that works. I don't know. If it doesn't, uh, we might do a, a fail video for you. So, anywho, I'm gonna come back to it here in a bit, but I'm gonna turn this off for now. All right, folks, catch you when I come back. 